Hi everyone, welcome back to Warframe. We're continuing with uh, getting to the Second Dream story mission. So we need to open three caches on Uranus here on the sabotage mission. There's Demona. So we need to locate these caches in the complex and uh, open three of them. Which is quite a challenge this mission. So it takes a bit of doing. Show you where I found my caches. You're here to sabotage Till Regor's cloning labs. My intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area, but I am unable to pinpoint their exact location. Search them out if you are willing to shoulder the added risk. So we're coming up to the first place where caches can appear, which is this area here with the waterfall rushing down. Luckily we found this pretty much straight away. So you hack it and then shoot up through the middle of this. And have a look around the top edge here. Sometimes you'll find a cache spawning in here. But uh, not for us today. But this is a common location. Also down the bottom of this structure as well, around the outside edge. They can spawn along the edge there. But not for us. See I'm uh, trying out the COM weapon here. I've leveled it a bit, it's up to level 22. Now the COM, com will go through a lot of ammo so I have to run a um, ammo mutation mod to keep the ammo up on this weapon. As well as a fire rate mod because it starts off quite slow and spins up. And here's an Oculus. Somewhere nearby. Shield on. Little bullet shield. Now these little end end points here. Sometimes end with a little pool of water. This one doesn't. But if you get to these end points with a little pool of water, sometimes there's a cache actually down inside the water. So I check all of these. Turn that alarm off. Okay, we're entering the pump station. You've reached the pump station. Look for weak points in the pipes and break them open. The pipes are down below somewhere. Mm 
No caches. Pumps are down here. Good. Now start the pumps and flood this place. Yeah, down these little narrow corridors, sometimes you can find caches at the end. It's worth having a look in here. so far. Okay, let's switch on the, the pump. The pumps have started. Guard the controls. The Grenier must not stop the flooding. So we just have to defend it for uh, a little while. While this room floods. Bullet shield on. Just reflects bullets back to the enemies. Kind of handy. Flooding complete. Proceed to the caves below. That's the Mesa's third ability, the bullet shield. Okay, moving on. Okay, so now we need to locate Tile Rigor's lab. Caches down there. Not that I can see. Now the other place that caches can hide is just under this lip here in this elevator room. Hold up. Detecting glass resonance. Just it's under close. there. There's nothing there today. We'll just look under that platform and see if you can see anything when you're in here. Cephalites. Time to smash some glass. Okay, we're getting close to Tyre Regor's lab. Let's unlock it. One of Tilregor's newest creations. Make sure it never sees the surface. Ok, 
Okay, so there's a maniac here. This is the one that we need to destroy. Maniac bombard. Any tenno in the field. Okay, so the mission's now complete. Now we just need to scour the rest of the map looking for the uh, caches. Which takes a bit of time. I'll tell you that this mission took me probably an hour in total to find all the caches, even though the video is only 20 minutes long. It's been edited a bit. I'm um, showing you where they commonly spawn. Now this end point with a bit water pool. There we go. There's one down there. This is where they commonly spawn in the water. You found the first resource cache. I'm detecting two more faint hints. Let me just check the rest of the map. Sometimes you find the behind stairs. So check behind all the stairs. Here's one right here. You found a second cache. My readings indicate one more. Conveniently placed behind the stairs. So that's another common place that they will spawn. And also in these long corridors. him to see the full map. Do some backtracking. Look for places I haven't uh, fully uh, populated the map yet. You can see behind me there's some spots I haven't done. Go and check on the exit pad as well because uh, sometimes they spawn there. I should be able to do that without actually triggering the exit. On these edge pieces here with the fins, so 
sometimes they appear in there, in the little cupboards. Around the outside edge. No. As long as I don't walk into that green circle, I'm okay. Oh, here we go. There's one on the outside edge here. In between those fins. You found all the caches. All your objectives are complete. Proceed to extraction now. And we're done. So if you have any other trouble finding the rest of the caches, uh, there's a couple of good videos on YouTube that will show you where they commonly spawn as well. So watch a few of those videos and just see uh, common locations. And hopefully you can find them all. Like I said, it took me about an hour to go through the entire map and uh, find everything, so... Now that that's complete, we can go back to the junction. Alright, let's uh, unlock this junction. Loki Spectre. I'm going to go in with, with melee to start with. Some heavy strikes. Oops. Oh. Okay. Went down with one heavy strike. The middle mouse button. That's convenient. obtained the second dream story quest Tenno your codex has been updated with a new quest you also got a chroma piece as well and here we are at Neptune so that's it for this episode guys, thanks for watching. Uh, next episode we'll actually start the uh, second dream and begin the story.